Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. Uh, Trying to make a video here, i got a lot on my mind. Uh, so excuse me if I seem to ramble, which I probably will. That's the way I usually get in front of this camera and start... I usually have an idea what I'm going to say or talk about. But I don't always have the right words express it so I'll sit and ramble in front of my computer in front of that com this camera for a while and I'll edit it up cut it all up till I have something coherent so I'm just gonna ramble and um, see where it takes me and uh, hopefully you'll get a good First cut off I'm gonna say I'm no longer going to debate the atheist, not because they're right and I'm wrong, or they're wrong and I'm wrong and they're right, or whatever. No, it's just because it's a, it's turned out to be nothing but a waste of time, exercise and stupidity, on both parts, actually. You know... There's no debate, as far as I'm concerned, on the God issue. There is a God. I'm not Him, and neither are you. He is a parent. And those that say, well, how is He so apparent? I don't see Him. Are you looking for Him? You have to seek truth to find it. Oh, that's right. Some of you believe that truth is subjective. Hmm, is that the truth? Hmm. I'm also kind of got a little anger. Not at the atheists. You know, I have been spammed by a few of them. I was going to show you the silliness of one of them spamming me with what he considers contradictions in the Bible. And I think he was actually cutting and pasting from a book somewhere. Probably Aaron Raw. That guy is so lost, it's unbelievable. But he continued right down there, one right after the other, until there were more than 50 comments. I only got one of them in my inbox. And I noticed that someone else noticed he was spamming me and marked him as such. I looked at that and I started going through there, and I don't like people marking other people as spam. Let me do that, decide what is spam. I started looking at his things and I started checking out some of them and I thought how long is it going to take me to answer every one of these I thought, well I got better things to do with my time than sit here and waste my time with such foolishness a lot of those things he's talking about in there that he calls contradictions you could see if you'd read the whole chapter weren't you gotta take these things in context oh yeah I'm sure they'll say, oh, it was all in context. Was it really? And who were they speaking to and about what was it being spoken to and who was it it was being said to? And these things just are... The unbeliever does not want to believe the Bible, so they seek to find fault in it. They're looking at a spiritual manuscript under a material lens. I don't know how that can be done, but they try, and they'll deny the spirit, maybe, but then that's not true either, because there are a lot of spiritual atheists out there, funny that, and a lot of people that worship the creation instead of the creator, it's also funny. And there are a lot of false Christians, false teachings, bad doctrines within churches. There's been a lot of new 
harmful doctrines enter into churches and overtake them. Organized religion, organized religion has always been a man-made institution made by men for men to control men. Oh, and I, I'm sure, I'm sure by saying that I'll, I'll be attacked by all sorts of religious zealots. Um, a lot of the blame against Christianity about all the atrocities committed by Christians. And a lot of that can be put right on the doorstep of the papacy, a blasphemous organization, not Christian, but name only. And yes, you know, many of the uh, Protestants also committed such atrocities. But then what was a Protestant but a Catholic that denied the Pope? and the papal authority and then there's all these different denominations coming out of that and all these denominations are simply more separations and divisions oh it's full of submersion baptism no sprinkling's good enough no it's the purity of Christ no it's the this and that oh no no there's there's the rapture pre-trib no no it's a post-trib no it's this that and the other thing and no men want to divide the truth in the whole gospel not in just a few verses speaking in tongues is one that's been taken way out of there what about three verses in the whole bible talk about it and it's not what they think it is uh, that's a funny one and my grandma, she was a Baptist. She really had a thing about that full submersion. If you're not fully submerged in your baptism, you're not baptized. You got to be baptized to be saved. And that one right there kind of bothered me some. I said, well, Grandma, let's have a hypothetical here now. Say, say you have two soldiers, and they're out in the middle of the Sahara Desert, and they're fighting a battle. World War Two, and they're fighting the Germans and they're out there in their little foxhole in the desert miles from any water and the only water they got is just a little canteen there to share between the two of them until more comes if it comes and that one person there is a good believer gives his testimony to the other person in the foxhole who doesn't believe and uh, through time that Unbeliever decides to believe and professes Christ as his savior and repents. Okay, the enemy's coming. Uh, there's no pawns or baptismals around to baptize this man. He professed his faith in Christ and repented. And a bomb comes and blows up both of them in that foxhole right then and there. Are you telling me, Grandma, that that uh, soldier who was saved there that day before he was blowed up is not saved because he did not get baptized? Or the only baptism he could get was a sprinkling from that little canteen? I mean, that sprinkling wouldn't be enough for that case? Is God that way? Is he? You're on your deathbed. And you repent on your deathbed. Ask forgiveness and profess God as your Savior, Christ as your Savior. And they can't take that man out and put him in a baptismal very easily, can they? Is he then damned to hell because he didn't get baptized, Grandma? This is answered quickly and easily. In the verses of John the Baptist's words, See, John the Baptist, he came to baptize with water. But another one was coming after him who was baptized with fire. Grandma, were you baptized with the fire? 
Grandma had to think about that one good and long and hard. But I had to answer it for her. Grandma, have you not been tested in your faith? Has not things happened in your life that has tested your faith? Well, yes, they have, she says. Well, Grandma, do you still believe, even though all these things came upon you? She said, yes, I still believe. Well, then, Grandma, have you not been tested by the fire? Has not the Holy Spirit's fire burnt inside you? Does the Holy Ghost burn in you now? I tell you, fire and water don't mix too well. You put a fire baptized Christian in that baptismal and he'll boil the water out. That's a fire in his heart. Oh. And yes, I was water baptized for Grandma. But I had not yet been saved in the way that I now understand. I believed I was saved. I wanted to be saved. But I was not saved even though I was baptized in the water. Because it was after that that I fell away for many years. It wasn't until I was in my late 30s, mid 30s, that I came to believe and know it. Because I felt the fire in me. Believe what you want to. Think of me what you want to. I care not. It doesn't matter what you think about me. I could care less. I know who I am. And my friends know me. And they know what kind of person I am. I care less and what the world thinks of me. In fact, if the world liked me, I'm probably not doing something right. The world's too damn PC. I'm politically correct for those who don't understand that. Truth is not politically correct. The truth sometimes hurts. And people don't like being hurt. I am an expert on hurt. I have a whole life of it, both receiving and giving. The truth will set you free, and Christ came to give you life in abundance, not a death cult. So, Turn to him, not to men, for your understanding. Because we don't know crap, we're all fools. All of us. The smartest man on this planet is nothing but the smartest fool amongst us. Now, try to stay calm, not panic. I know there's a lot of crap going on in this world. You know, from uh, the chemtrails in the sky, or Gallen's disease, Morgellons, however you pronounce it, to uh, the radiation at Fukushima, to the dying planet all around us, the bizarre weather patterns, and the crazy sun we got going right out there, and the threats of nuclear annihilation. What kind of fool would start a nuclear war? Doesn't 
anybody know? I figured everybody should know this. No one wins in a nuclear war. Oh yeah, the only people to have been bombed by nuclear bombs were Japan, and it's said to be what caused the winning the end of that war. But that was an abominable act. It was an abominable act. Only a demon would ever think of doing it. They could have just as easily blowed up an island that is uninhabited in front of Japanese witnesses and had the same effect. But no, they had to push their point home. Revenge. Only evil men seek revenge. Only selfish people seek revenge. Vengeance is God's. And all those people that say God is love, love, love. Haven't been reading their Bible too much because God is a fire. A burning fire. Who has wrath waiting to be poured out upon this earth. For its vile sin. And wickedness. Foolishness. But... Jesus does love those who love God, follow Him. He has no place for the unbeliever, the idolater, the unrepented fool following after men's logic. God is above it all, material there, more real than the real. There would be no real without him. You want to argue it, argue all you want. I won't debate you. I hope you know that right now. I will not debate you. I may bullshit the bullshitter back. Excuse my French. I'll not debate you. I may mock you for the fool you are. Because I know you're going to mock me for the fool I am as well. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. It's just a game anyway. It has no purpose. serves no function. It's only an exercise in futile bull crappery. And, uh, I'm not sure I want to participate in it anymore. So I'm just going to put out videos telling you what the way I see it, what I think about it, along with some more animations and stuff I've been working on, some art. And I'm just going to do my own thing here. And you guys go ahead and do yours. By the way, my rule stands on this channel. I block vulgar and hateful comments. So if you're going to spread your hate my way, you might as well eat it. I'm not going to take your hate. And I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Hate away. Don't hurt me none. It's the hater going to have the trouble with it in their heart. I won't have a part of it anymore. And for the rest of you, have a good weekend. Peace, love, and understanding. I'll be with you.